chips. You can't have just one. Sorry if you're hungry. We're talking about computer chips. In a sea of AI-related acronyms, let's talk about the hardware behind AI-enabled computers. CPUs, GPUs, TPUs, and newest of all, NPUs. Here, we'll define each type of processing chip and what functions they serve. To dig deeper on enterprise AI topics, visit our dedicated site at the link above or in the description below, and remember to subscribe to Ion Tech for more videos on all things business tech. CPUs, or central processing units, are the backbone of every computer. They're responsible for interpreting and executing a computer's demands. And while these general processors were expected to handle it all, designers soon realized that just adding millions of transistors for every new computing innovation wasn't good for efficiency, price, or power. So was born the GPU. The GPU, or graphics processing unit, works alongside the CPU to power the math and data manipulation needed for graphics and digital visualization tasks. Because GPUs can manage computing tasks at an enormous scale, they've also emerged as a key component of machine learning and AI hardware platforms. A TPU, or tensor processing unit, is also integral to ML and AI workloads. Designed and manufactured to perform specific tasks, TPUs can be found in alarm clocks, coffee makers, and machine learning frameworks. They are generally similar to GPUs, but with even greater specialization. Even more powerful than TPUs are NPUs, or neural processing units. NPUs rely on inference instead of training. It's like the difference between using a GPS to get directions versus looking at road signs and making decisions on the best way to get to your destination. NPUs help an AI system learn by recognizing frequently encountered data and accelerating the computations while using less energy to get results. For example, smartphones might employ an NPU to accelerate facial recognition features or run natural language processing for real-time language translation tasks. How would you rate your understanding of all the different chips out there? Share your thoughts in the comments and remember to like and subscribe too.